I was actually at a food giveaway with St. Mary's Food Bank and I met Mike and I quickly realized the strength of the Levine Community Action Committee and what School Connect tells us to do. And that really is, is pulling on the strengths of all of our community partners. The idea of urban gardens and urban farming is all about taking small land pieces. So in your, in your backyard or on your patio or if there's an empty lot in, in your neighborhood, um, schools, shelters, there's always enough space to garden. And so with Agave Farms, we realized, you know, we're one location here, but urban farming education is all about building that model on a uh, more of a platform in which there were gardens in many locations, accessible by buses or walking or bikes and that sort of thing. Um, and that's where urban farming all started. I was kind of shocked that in Maricopa County, there's an estimated 650,000 people with food scarcity. Um, and that is just, they don't know where all their meals are coming from. They may not eat three meals a day. The idea of the Levine Action Committee is really to put together all the resources for the people in that community to understand where they can go for help. And to me, that's mapping the, the food system. One of the best ways for us to distribute foods to areas that um, probably were in a higher need than other areas in the valley was to do it through the school lunch programs. So we went to some schools that um, the parents were literally driving every day to get their kids a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or, or whatever the school lunch was for the day. And there was 250 to 500 cars going in or people going in to pick up their kids' lunches. So we knew that that family uh, wouldn't be going through that if they didn't need it. So talking with Mike, they had the capacity with the volunteers, they had the trucks, they had the equipment, and they could actually supplement the food boxes with the, the fresh fruits and vegetables that they were growing. Instead of having one or two food giveaways, we've had 16 food giveaways over an eight month period and given away almost a half a million pounds of food. Urban farming does help anyone supplement their diet with nutritious food. Um, and it can be done on a very small scale in small spaces. Everyone does their best when you have a healthy community. When students show up to, to school and they're hungry, um, when parents are hungry at home, you, you, they're not as effective. They're stressed out, they're worried about their kids, and unfortunately right now this, this isn't a issue that any one of the stakeholders could solve themselves. We're all working together. Anybody that's out there that's thinking about the School Connect model, you're, you're going to realize that you're going to better utilize your own resources, you're going to better uh, utilize the resources of the community, and you're going to come up with ideas and solutions that you never thought of before, and almost always they're better. So I would strongly recommend this.